Recording. Hello, Star Trek fans, and this is James again, uh, bringing you another video on the HoloLens Star Trek adventure. Um, today, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, performance in the um, in the HoloLens. Um, in my case, um, when you have uh, complex models, uh, they can be rather taxing, and this is something I didn't know. I mean, we saw this in, in let's say, uh, in Robo Raid and um, and other uh, like Young Conquer, where they pre-scan the room or they pre-scan the environment that you're going to play in, and then uh, they stop the scanning. So um, I've learned how to do that, and basically, I just want to let everyone know that uh, the outcome of that or basically pre scanning the room the gameplay is is a lot improved so a complex model that does no longer compete against the system resources on the HoloLens um, the mo mo motion and fluid and fluid uh, are, uh, movement are very very natural and the experience is very good as you can see here I have an asteroid and I can move it, I can hit the ground basically and the motion is very 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 fluid, very very nice. You see the cube, okay, I can hit the, basically hit the, the asteroid with it and the, the movement is very 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 fluid, very very nice. Um, as a result, also with the model, one thing that I did notice is that when uh, I was continuously scanning and having a complex model, the quality of the model also, you know, some of the details depreciated. But um, as you can see here, not only is the movement nice and fluid, um, but also the quality of the model, it retains um, all the details that um, basically makes part of the gameplay uh, uh, enjoyable. So as you can see, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just show you uh, again firing at the cube. Okay, I can also change the scale of the ship, make it uh, full impulse. Gonna go ahead and and the motion and the fluidity of the of the gameplay is very very nice. Um, so there's really no lag time. There's no jitters in the model. They move very nice and fluid. Uh, so basically, what's the takeaway? The takeaway is um, just like everything else uh, that we've seen so far. Um, scanning first cache that, that room or the gameplay environment and then go ahead and uh, and then bring your holographic assets into into the environment and start enjoying your game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just a little uh, uh, just a little uh, tip that um, uh, basically I just wanted to share with everyone that uh, in order to improve your game you basically need to uh, have a complex model not competing against uh, system resources. One of them being uh, the scanning, continuous scanning. Make sure you do it first, turn off the scanning, and then enjoy your gameplay. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll be um, looking forward for your comments and your feedback. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Okay, so uh, until the next video, uh, and the continued progress on this, uh, on, on my project. Okay, hey Cortana, stop recording. I'm sorry.